Hello everyone, it's Liz Mew. Today I'm gonna take you to five must-try vegan ramen spots in Tokyo. Just to let you guys know, all this footage was filmed way back 2019, pre-COVID times, but we still really wanted to show you these awesome vegan ramen spots. While Japan is home to ramen, I think it is important to understand that modern veganism is a pretty new concept there. And Japan's still getting used to what flavors people like, which textures people like. To me, I just want things to taste as close to the real thing as possible. For now, I think it's pretty exciting to show you guys what the vegan ramen scene looks like in Japan while it's not yet totally mainstream. So let's go check it out. Our first stop is Sora no Iro, which translates to color of the sky. This location is painted all blue and white. It's very whimsical and you can't feel like you're in the clouds just as you're entering the store. Like most other ramen joints in Japan, here you order your ramen from a vending machine. And the reason that you order your ramen from a vending machine is because the servers don't want to be handling money and food at the same time. So it's a hygiene thing. This one was digital and it had an English button, which was super duper handy. And they have two types of vegan broth here, plus gluten-free noodle options. And we, of course, got both the vegan ramen options. The first ramen is a shoyu vegan ramen, which is a soy sauce based broth. It is a lighter broth that went really well with all the mixed veggies. There was sweet potato, radish, broccoli, onion, mushroom, tomatoes, and a whole lot of bean sprouts. Because there are so many vegetables in the bowl, each bite was packed with a different texture and different flavors and it just keeps you going until the end. And you don't experience that flavor fatigue that you get with a very unloaded bowl sometimes. The other ramen that we got was the vegan tantan men, which we had with brown rice gluten-free noodles. And this was a total step up. The broth was more umami and complex than the shoyu broth. It was creamy, flavorful, and layered with a little bit of spicy chili oil for an extra kick. The brown rice noodles we got went perfectly with the vegan mints and all the other veggies packed into the bowl. Chabuzen is a real vegan gem in Tokyo. There are so many vegan options in such a tiny space. One of the best things is the fried soy meat with green onion. It's crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. We also got the gyoza, which was made fresh to order. And they're known here for their dragon ramen. The broth is absolutely amazing and flavored with koji, which is a fermented rice mixture. And it just gives the whole bowl this new dimension of flavor. It's awesome. The bowl had some nori and tofu. And my only issue with this vegan bowl was the noodles. The only vegan option for noodles is actually spaghetti, which doesn't quite hit the spot. Our next stop is Kyushu Jangara Ramen. We went to the Akihabara location and waited in a really big long line for this delicious bowl. Here you can get a salt based or a soy sauce based ramen that is vegan. And it might look simple, but don't let that fool you. This bowl of ramen is so flavorful and delicious. The toppings are nori, bamboo shoots, chili threads, and there's some garlic and tofu as well. The noodles and the broth complement each other perfectly. And this is just simplicity at its finest. And this is a bowl that I could smash every single day. Mm -mm -mm. Now we cannot be on a vegan ramen tour of Tokyo without heading to Tea's Tantan Ramen. This is arguably the most popular vegan ramen joint in town. I tried the gyoza, fried soy meat, and as for ramen, I went with the black sesame tantan ramen. From the amount of sesame in the bowl, I definitely wish that the flavor of the black sesame was stronger, but all in all, not bad, quite delicious. The bowl had soy meat in it, which is always exciting as a vegan. And I love that there is a dedicated 100% vegan ramen spot in Tokyo. I hear that the golden sesame ramen here is really delicious and has peanut butter in it. What? So next time I'm in town, I will definitely be returning to try that bowl. Our final stop is Noodle Stand Tokyo in Harajuku. On Fridays, they do a vegan tantan ramen special, but it wasn't Friday when we visited, so we tried their standard coconut miso ramen. Here they have a mechanical vending machine. Don't forget to bring cash. This was a pretty good looking bowl of ramen topped with vegan char siu, pickled ginger, and some greens. They also have gluten-free noodles, which is always so awesome for people who can't usually have gluten because it means you can eat noodles. I found the coconut miso broth a little bit heavy, so I tried to lighten things up with some lime and some togarashi spice. 
I don't love coconut, so I personally wasn't the biggest fan of this bowl, but I just know that this is one of those ramens that most vegans will absolutely love. A hot, generous portion of hearty ramen, perfect on a cold night out in Tokyo. As you guys can see, vegan ramen in Tokyo, mwah, leveling up, evolving by the day. I cannot wait to return to see which awesome new vegan options they have. It's gonna be so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let us know which country you want us to check out vegan options from next. Hopefully we can take you there and we'll see you soon. Bye.